Ooh. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, I wanted to do this video to find out how all you're doing and thing, right? Check up on all you, check up on everybody. Right now, I'm in Toronto, Canada, spent Christmas here resting and, and chilling and vibing and things like that. But for the whole day yesterday and the day before, what I've been hearing from a lot of friends and families and stuff, they've been talking about how sick they feel. Well, we know we're in a global pandemic. We know what's happening. So, for my family and friends who are going through it right now, hang in there, hang in tough, because I know how it is. Trust me. I know how it is. We can't wait for this COVID-19 to go away. But I'll tell you guys why I think that this whole last, this variant right here, this COVID-19 Omicron variant, which, what I, why I think that this particular variant it's kind of a good and a bad, right? First, let me tell you why it's bad. It's bad because a lot of people are getting sick. And I never want to hear about anybody getting sick, the cough, the headache, the fever, all of that stuff. I had it and I didn't like it. It's terrible. But here's what I'm saying. Because this variant is most transmissible, a lot more people are catching it, right? A lot of people will develop some natural immunity, to COVID-19. At least I'm saying it from a layman's perspective. This is not scientific evidence, by the way. This is a layman's perspective. So if you have a lot of people catching it with light symptoms, lighter symptoms, right? That means that more people will develop natural immunity plus the vaccinated people. And that means that there would be a lot more immunity to the COVID-19. Now, if we see that, again, that's not a scientific research. I'm telling you from a layman's perspective. So I stand to be corrected. We have a lot of people catching COVID-19. This particular variant, they're not getting as sick as the Delta variant. And they are developing natural immunity. Yeah, you heard it right. I think it's a good thing because of the immunity that will be developed. And hopefully that immunity could withstand the next strand, if there is to be a next strand. So I think overall, this Omicron variant infecting a lot of people and the people developing natural immunity plus the vaccinated this might possibly be and this is my hope and this is my prayer that this is this might possibly be the tail end of covid no i ain't saying that because i heard somebody say that scientifically i want to reiterate that the other thing which i think is promising news very promising news and in 2022 we're going to hear a lot more about this now the fda just approved for emergency use purposes two tablets that people could take after they infected with COVID-19. Now for 2022, I think that that is big news. All of these things is possible. And I'm saying it's possible, right? That we might start seeing the end of COVID as we know. Because if there's more tools in the toolbox, like there's vaccine, there's people who are apprehensive about the vaccine, right? There are people that don't want to take the vaccine and you can't blame them. But there are people that might take the tablet. So, the, in 2022, what we might be seeing is more advancement in pills, not prophylactic like the vaccine, but pills that people could take. So, we might start seeing, hopefully, and I'm praying that that is the case, Lord help us. I'm hoping that this could be the end of COVID-19 as we know it. We have the, the, the vaccines we have the boosters and now we have two pills on the market and i hoping and praying guys help me here that hopefully in 2022 it will be brighter and more prosperous because we're tired of not able to meet and greet people look i'm in canada i can't even meet nobody i can't even go and hold a little sit down sidebar kind of thing with the fans and supporters can of have a little barbecue and invite friends i'm cooked up here i'm chilling nothing to do just you know what i mean can't bring across a couple of friends and eat some some ham and some black cake nothing like that why because everybody you know everybody protecting themselves and i can't blame them you know i want to go by somebody else and get some black cake but i can't do it i can't do it i want to see how we come together again Jen. i want to see how we can hug people again you know what i mean meet people and friends and family and supporters so hopefully with more advancement in those pills that people could take we might see less hospitalization and death and we see a wider set of people developing natural immunity towards this thing 
because they already caught it and vaccines hopefully we could start seeing the end of this pandemic i know what all you're tired i tired too dread i don't even want to say the word anymore better tell you how tired i didn't want to say you see i can't even say it i can't even say the word so guys let me know what are you hearing this is what i'm hearing this is how i'm feeling and this is my gut instinct this is my gut instinct my gut instinct is this might just be hopefully the end of this thing dread i am tired of it 2022 let's hope that we don't have to go into this whole year again and we have to deal with this thing head on as was in 2020 2021 let's hope that this is the final year again we're here in toronto canada big up all the folks supporters fans here in toronto big up all yourself hopefully soon we go have a nice little brunch again we will come and sit down and chill again and have a good little vibe all right holla at me let me know your aspiration and your thoughts and the predictions for 2022 i want to hear all you comment at the bottom